Watching the numbers in the market, you've seen the bottom of your screen, the Dow down almost 600 points amid these comments about a potential trade war with China. We've been talking about him quite a bit. Larry Kudlow, the president's new economic advisor, pushing back, uh, saying he's more optimistic about that and folks wondering exactly where this is headed. We're also watching these new sanctions that have been really pushed forward on Russian President Vladimir Putin's inner circle. The sanctions are hitting some seven tycoons, 12 businesses, 17 senior government officials, all of them focused in the heart of Putin's uh, close inner circle. I want to bring in Chief CBS News uh, White House correspondent Major Garrett, who comes to us from the briefing room. Major, I want to ask you first about, uh, we've always heard the president say, and Sarah Huckabee Sanders, he's been tough on Russia. What do you right. make with the fallout of this right now? Well, these are significant moves, uh, no question about it. And they're closer to the inner circle of Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, re-elected recently, uh, than this administration's ever come. And that has to be taken into consideration. And a couple of those are implicated in the Robert Mueller investigation. So at least part of the Robert Mueller investigation quite clearly is legitimate, not a witch hunt, uh, not a phony sham uh, or some other uh, negative declaration often has come from the president via Twitter about the Robert Mueller investigation because clearly there's problems with these uh, individuals close to Vladimir Putin that the administration agrees with and they have been implicated or in some way, shape or form part of the Mueller investigation. I asked Sarah Huckabee Sanders, well, okay, the summit is still going on? Well, we'll still talk about it. And you have to imagine that this is going to intensify the chill that has fallen over the administration and Russia and Vladimir Putin, uh, because this does get U.S. business and economic sanctions closer to Putin's inner circle. It's meant to get his attention. What's also interesting, Rena, is Sarah will not articulate exactly what this president is most aggrieved about with Russian behavior. Is it Syria? Is it Ukraine? Is it Russian election meddling, either here or in Europe? What is it mm -hmm. that is so angered or has so angered this administration sufficient to justify these sanctions? That is something that the foreign policy community would like to hear from this president. What exactly would you like Russia to change in terms of either its international behavior or its behavior relating to election processes here in America or elsewhere? And when Sarah sort of snapped back at a reporter saying the president's never really said anything about this, that question is legitimate. In his own words, the president hasn't said to Russia, Vladimir Putin, or anyone, exactly what it is he would like to see changed and what his own and his administration's grievances are with Russia sufficient to justify these sanctions. So the sanctions stand as a legitimate act by this administration to punish those close to Vladimir Putin. What's missing is the why and what it is that this administration most wants Russia to change in order to change this relationship. Yeah, it was a fascinating exchange hearing her not being able to articulate exactly what that is. Uh, and remember, Irene, I, at one point I said, just give me two. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Just two things. Yeah. I mean, it, it wouldn't be that difficult for any administration if it was so motivated to identify two problems with Russia what? and prioritize them. And the, the lack of specificity and the lack of prioritization mm -hmm. is one of the things that's missing about this dialogue and this advertisement that this administration is so very tough on Russia. That part of it is still missing. So why is it so hard from them, Major? I don't know. I wish I did. Mm. Um, it is either because the president still is reluctant to talk about election meddling because he thinks that in some ways justifies the underlying impetus of the Mueller investigation and he doesn't want to do that. And it might be because the president doesn't want to define what he prioritizes most. That might clarify things with the Russians. It might clarify things with our allies. There are times where the president likes things to be as ambiguous as possible because he doesn't know what his bottom line is. And he doesn't want anyone else to know what it is. Well, I mean, that is a, a theoretical negotiating tactic, but in foreign policy circles, it makes things hard when no mm -hmm. one really knows what you're most interested in or what you're six most interesting topics might be. Mm. You know, it's hard to not to ignore the Dow at this point, but I'm looking at it about 650 points right out of this briefing down. Right. Where are we on this potential trade war with China? The word that I heard used over again was unfair and illegal practices. Sure. So, and I'm really glad you mentioned where the Dow is because I was in a Larry Kudlow on the record briefing, the new chairman of the National Economic 
counsel, and then I came right out here to the Sarah Sanders briefing, and what clearly precipitated this reaction and the Dow and the sell-off is Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary on CNBC. Trust me, everyone on the market watches CNBC mm -hmm. or has people who watch it for them. And he said there could be a trade war. We don't want one. That's not our preferred plan, but it could happen. And Larry Kudlow, in a on the record but private conversation with many of us who cover the White House, said if China doesn't change its behavior, the president will go ahead with tariffs. He doesn't want to, but this is not a negotiating notion. This is not just a means by which to rattle China's cage. If China doesn't change its behavior, these tariffs will take effect, and it's been made abundantly clear by the Chinese they're prepared to engage in kind. So there's this couple of months where negotiations might begin. The other most noteworthy thing Larry Kudlow told us is that this administration is discussing, only discussing, the possibility of giving the Chinese a list of changes it wants to see it make. And if it makes those changes, then we can de-escalate this very ramped up idea of tariffs leading to a trade war. But so far, no direct talks, no real negotiations, mm -hmm. and not even a list of particulars yet from this administration to the Chinese. So fascinating to hear Kudlow say this is not a bluff by the president. And I wonder if the markets really believe that, that down 650 points roughly. Major, thank you again for joining us. Thank you.